Hey, what's going on? I was on the website for 247 Studio today, and they have this really cool section down here where there's thumbnails and you hover over them and it starts playing a video. Like this is really a great way to describe your work uh, or just show off anything. In this example, we will show off some donuts and we'll connect it to the Webflow CMS and steal some code from Webflow to make it happen, happen with a background video element, which doesn't exist in the CMS. So you'll see if I create a new collection, let's call it donuts. I've got the basic info name and slug, that's great, but I also wanna have a thumbnail image. So we'll call this, oh, this field can't be saved because it has errors. Would you like to exit without saving? Let's exit without saving and see what happens. I'm gonna try that again. I'm gonna make an image field. We'll call this thumbnail. Maybe I was too fast for Webflow there. Uh, this field's gonna be required, we'll save it. Let's add another field. This time I'm gonna be plain text. It's gonna be video, URL, MP4. Oops, not dollar sign. We want a four there. And we'll go ahead and I'm not going to make that required. We'll save it. And then I'm also going to do another text field that's video URL web M and save that field. And now we will create the collection and we've got zero donuts. So let's change that. I'm going to come back and I got another page here called video upload. It's just a blank page, but I'm going to click the plus button here and come down to the background video element, drag it right on the screen. And let's upload a video. Now I've got these five donut videos by Tima Miroshininko. These were really cool. Check out the link to her stuff below. But let's go ahead and grab the first one here. All right, it's been uploaded and transcoded. And I'm going to get rid of this include play pause button. And now let's publish this site. Okay, we have published successfully. So I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to open up Chrome DevTools here. Select that video element. And we see we've got this div and inside of the div, there's a video tag and inside the video tag are the source tag. So these video files are being hosted in Webflow right now, which is great. We just need a way to get that into the CMS. So the way we can do that is we can just take this first source here and copy it and paste it back into our CMS. Let's add a new donut, call this donut one. And this is the MP4 URL. And then we'll go ahead, oops, wrong one, and grab the WebM URL. Not the whole source, I just want this. Let me click out. There we go. Uh, quick aside, the way that the video tag loads these sources is it's going to load the first one that it's able to load. So in this case, the first one listed is MP4, and Chrome and pretty much every browser is able to load an MP4, so it's going to load the MP4. I see a lot of times the code has a WebM secondary, and I think most people would prefer to load the WebM because they tend to show better quality for smaller small, smaller file size. However, I have not found a way, even if I put that first, to make it load in priority over the MP4. So if anybody knows how to do that, let me know in the comments below. Back in our CMS here, I'll paste the, uh, the what's it called for the WebM, the URL, and then I'm going to click on the thumbnail image here. I think we did 540, so I'll get the thumbnail just like that. Uh, this is 1280 by 720. All I did was copy and paste a frame from the video and put it there. So that was pretty easy. So let's go ahead and create that. And I'm going to go ahead and populate this with the rest of the donuts, but I won't make you watch all that. So I'll fast forward for this. All right, I've got four donuts in the CMS. I think four donuts is enough for one day. And now I'm going to go back to my home page. And I want to display these in a nice little grid. So I'm going to go to my components library here and let's get feature 11. That looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and use that. Come into navigator, paste that down. And I want to connect this to the CMS. So I'm not actually going to use this component like it is here, but I'm just going to drag a collection list wrapper, uh, rename this to something like donuts. And let me double click this to connect it to our source collection of donuts. And what I want to do now is the collection list wrapper, collection list, I am going to give this a class name of feature 11 grid. So I'll just take this feature 11 card and copy one of them and drop it right inside of the collection item here. And now it's going to populate all those and I can just delete this whole grid. I don't need this padding bottom, but uh, this feature 11 image, I want to pull the thumbnail image into that right there. So we've got that. So that's all done. And then this heading text, I will give it the text from the name. And I'm just going to delete this paragraph because I don't need it. And then let's just give this a little bit of color. Something like that. Oh, very ugly. 
Okay, I want these to be too wide, so let me change this min max here. I'm going to change the minimum to something like 24. Let's see. Yeah, that's good for this screen size at least. And now we want to get the custom code for the video to show. So let's go back to our video upload here, and I'm just going to grab this div right here and click copy. And I will go back to Webflow, and I'm just going to drag in an embed right into here, and let's paste that code. Okay, we can just delete this data post URL. That's for the thumbnail for the video, but we've already controlled that. And so this data video URLs attribute, we're going to change this to the MP4 one. So I delete that and put URL MP4 and get this one here and delete WebM and add the WebM and autoplay true, loop is true. Sure, data w Webflow ignore. It's got the class, it's got a video ID and autoplay loop style everything's good so this is getting the url for the background image as well let's go ahead and just delete this style we don't want any of that plays in line data object fit cover okay this is all good and now for the source we want to change this first source to the mp4 file and the second source we want that to be the webm so delete that add field webm and we'll save and close okay our image in there with the video but we can see it's trying to take up a bunch of space and it's under the image so let's go ahead and give this a width of 100 percent and a height of 100 percent and we'll set the position to absolute and to cover all and then the last thing we need to do to get this to show is i'm going to come to the image height here and i'll hide overflow and if we give this embed a higher z index like five now we can see our video. So what we're gonna wanna do is really just, we'll create an interaction to when you hover over the image to set the opac opacity of that thing to zero so that the image shows playing behind it. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm resetting the Z index there. And now if I, let's put it on this feature 11 card come to interactions here and we will do mouse hover and we'll say show video and now what we want to do is that the feature 11 image we're going to start its opacity at 100 percent and set that as the initial state and we will then move it to zero let's do it on an ease of 0.3 and that is all we should have to do. Save it. And now if I come in, let's go ahead and set the embed Z index to one and the image Z index to two. And now when I do it, we can see it's working just fine. Okay, and the last thing we wanna do is come back to our interaction and we wanna make sure we have something for hover out. So we will start an animation. I'm gonna duplicate this one. We'll select it and we'll call this hide video. And we're just going to set the image opacity back to 100%. Remove set as initial state. Set this something to 0.3. Ease. Save. And that should be all we need there. So let's check it out. All right, we're hovering. And we've got zoom in through donut holes playing here. Hovering. And we've got a zoom out of a donut. Now, these are all just playing in the background. Uh, something that we might want to look at in a future lesson is... When you hover, it plays the video, and when you hover out, it pauses where the video is at, so that when you hover back in, it restarts where it was playing. Um, we can look into that in a later video. Anyways, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Yeah.